Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT for some very basic web scraping. So if you're looking for things like text, links, phone numbers, email addresses, anything that's rendered to the page, ChatGPT can be used to scrape the data and organize it in any way that we want. There are definitely some better tools you can use for this, which I'm aware of. You will need a ChatGPT Plus subscription for this because we need to use GPT-4 in the Browse with Bing option. So if you do have that, you can follow along. You want to make sure that you have permission to scrape the site or that you're not violating the terms of service. I've set up a demo site for this which I'm hosting on Hostinger and I'll drop a link in the description below. This is very basic with just some text, a couple of different pages, some contact information, some services, gallery of images, some downloads. The prompt is very simple. Scrape the following website for any phone numbers and email addresses. I put in the URL, put the results in a table. I'm gonna pop this open just so I can see what's happening. So that was pretty quick. Now it made some assumptions and it only clicked on the contact page, which, you know, fair enough. But I wanna make sure the ChatGPT is scraping the entire site just in case there's any email addresses or phone numbers elsewhere. So I'm gonna ask it to scrape the entire site recursively in case it missed any. So it went through and it recursively checked the rest of the pages. I already knew there weren't any phone numbers or email addresses on them, but I wanted ChatGPT just to be sure. But this is the beauty of conversation and using the previous context, I can just add things like the word recursively and ChatGPT will know that it needs to go through the entire site. So now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to scrape the same site and return any text on the pages. Scrape the entire site and return any text in a table by page. Awesome, so it went through and it gave us all of the text in a table for each page. I'm gonna have it summarize all of our findings in a document for review. Nice. So it organized all of our findings into this nice document which we can then copy into a Google Doc or a Word document. Now, obviously this is very basic. And as I said, ChatGPT does have a few limitations as far as not being able to download any files. And it also can't parse the source code of the page. So there may be links and URLs behind the scenes that ChatGPT is unable to grab. So it can only parse and scrape things that are rendered to the screen as text. That said, it's still a useful tool if you wanna go through and parse information from a site, digest it, summarize it, and organize the data as you see fit. If you wanna see me do further web scraping videos in the future, let me know in the comments below. Please hit that like button and subscribe for future content.